It is time to turn the sea fortress into bricks! My name is Mangs, and I welcome you to part 26 of Let's Play Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising! Now where did that sea fortress come from? Crush it! Adder, will the fortress be complete on schedule? Yes, but proceeding without delays. And the mini cannons? All eight of them has been constructed on the sites you've selected. Then all is well. Commander, we have reports of a large green force, green earth force heading this way. I estimated they would be appearing about this time. They're all air units. Hold on. Err, I think so, sir. Nothing but air units, sir. How predictable. Deploy our troops immediately. Yes, sir. But he is wrong, cause this is the hard mode version, and that means we get some boats. Attention, all units, target that fortress and open fire. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh no, hold on, sir. This is no good. There are anti-aircraft units everywhere. What? They knew we were coming? Uh, what should I do? If we allow them to complete that factory, Green Earth will suffer. If we press our attack, we might win, but the casualties will be enormous. Commander, let's continue with the attack. But... We're Green Earth's strongest force. We cannot lose. That's what you always tell us, isn't it? He's right, sir. We won't be beaten by the likes of those black hole thugs. We can't sit by and let them complete that fortress. We can't. Let's hit him, Commander. Come on, sir. My soldiers. All right, we proceed as planned. Aim for the heart of the f oh, aim for the heart of their offensive powers, the mini cannons. Let's give them a show of power they won't soon forget. All right, this level is completely different this time around, and we actually got some naval units, which is kind of hilarious considering it's eagle. But all right, so this is quite a difficult level, actually. You need to be very careful with how you attack with your air units. But what I like to do is I like to always move my fighters and bombers north as far as I can, because honestly, um, they don't got any fighters of their own. The Hawk doesn't have any fighters here, and they're not in range of my fighters, as you can see. So you're free to move them on all upwards. Just be a little bit cautious about the battlecopters. We don't really gonna... We, I don't think we need visuals here, truth be told. Uh, we, could play with, we could play with some in the beginning, but uh, it's going to be a lot of firepower going on here. And Hawk's, Hawk's power, by the way... It's devastating on this level. Really devastating. Alright. I actually do believe we can move our units up to their maximum speed. Yes, we can. Because our fighters are blocking the battlecopters. Which is quite nice. The fact that Eagle starts off with Battleship is kind of hilarious, I must say. Just because they're so bad. They're 30% worse in this game. Now, Eagle in this game, by the way, he uh, all of his units use two, two less fuel per day. They don't, lose any, they don't use any less fuel uh, when they move regularly, but normally uh, fighters and bombers, they take five fuel per day, while transport copters and battlecopters, they use two fuel per day. So Eagle's Battlecopters can actually stay up in the air indefinitely. They have 15% uh, increased offense and 10% increased defense. His, air, his uh, naval units are, have 30% less offense, so that's basically how Eagle works. His uh, little power, Lightning Drive, is kind of crappy. It just puts his air units up to 30% offense and defense, while his Lightning Strike puts them up to 30% offense and defense and makes all of his non-infantry units move again. Which is why Eagle has probably has the best superpower in the entire game. Let's just be honest with that. Here comes his fighters. Predict now, he doesn't have a lot of fighters here, which is actually kind of helpful to us. Because uh, that means we can take him out quickly. We're going to destroy a lot of his units early on here. Now, manipulating uh, Hawk's uh, CO power is kind of difficult because... Um, because he... Um, he doesn't really. Uh, he, he can use his. He can use his. Um, oh, what do you say? He can use his CO power at the end of his turn. Now these cruisers aren't really good for anything, so we might as well use use them to take out a few battlecopters. They still actually do a lot of damage, even though they're thirty percent weaker. So uh, they still actually fulfill their purpose. Bum bum. Da 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 Bum bum. And we're gonna use our fighters to take care of his fighters, which we pretty much have to do because uh, there's no one, there's nobody else who can take care of those things. So 
This might give him his superpower, though. There's nothing we can do about that. He's going to use the superpower regardless, so... But we could try to manipulate a CO power meter, maybe a little bit. We'll see. I'm gonna have to take care of this, these units, though. It's kind of important that we do that. And at least, what's mostly important is that we actually finish the units off, so they won't get repaired by the Black Storm. I think that's kind of important. So we need to try and eliminate them completely from the game. Let's see... Um, if we always attack with the units in the back first, so that's kind of a, an important golden rule in Advanced Wars. Attack with the units in the back first, so you see what you... Um, because this battlecopter can only attack this battlecopter right here, so attacking this battlecopter with this battlecopter is kind of stupid. Catch my drift. There's a little bit of luck involved here, as we can see. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get his superpower now. There's nothing we can do about that. It's better that we take out his units so he doesn't get to do any additional damage for us. A lot of death and destruction here. Hmm, let's see. We need to be a little bit smart now on how we should use our remaining guys. I think we have enough battlecopters to completely eliminate all of this, but we'll just have to see. That might not be the case. Uh, because we can do this. We need to at least damage them all. That's important. Now nah, we don't have enough battlecopters to completely take all of this down. But even if though the battlecopters with like two hit points get two points of healing, they still can't do anything, so. Down you go. Yeah, he has the superpower already. Down, 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 As long as we don't move our bombers into the range of his cruisers, we should be fine. That's all of our units. I will give you credit for pushing me this far. Now you definitely, you only get about one lightning strike. Maybe you get two if you're lucky. So you definitely want to coordinate it so that you push those uh, lightning strikes to the max. Because you're going to need to hit his cannons hard and fast. <laughs> But it's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of room for you to attack here, so... It's actually a little bit tricky. And he might be able to take out that battlecopter, actually. Yep, he will. There's nothing I can do about that. Here comes his subs. We actually need... Uh, it's actually a little bit important. We actually need our... our um, we need our cruisers to deal with these subs. So it's actually kind of important that we uh, don't waste them. But what we could do is we could use our cruisers to take... Nah, we're not going to do that. Actually, what we could do... Nah, they, they have subs. Uh, they have cruisers def def protecting their subs. Hmm... First of all, we need to make sure we take down these, uh, well, we might as well use our fighters for this, because it's not like he has a lot of other air units, so we might as well. We don't want to waste the ammo of our battle battlecopters, that's actually kind of important. Because, um, even though they don't run out of fuel easily, they can still run out of ammo. And now we got our lightning strike, and we got to be really careful about how we want to use it. We definitely want to take care of his cruisers and his subs before we move further in. 
Alright, so his cruiser can attack over there, and his cruiser can attack over there, and his sub can attack here, so we can move our battleship right here. And his other sub can move over here, so we can move our battleship right here. Sounds good. Like so. What are the range on these things? We can safely move our bomber up here, I think. Yep. Just gonna make sure I don't mess this up and lose any units. Because that would be bad. He doesn't have more fighters, I think. Nope, he doesn't. Getting my bombers lined up. Ready for action. Don't want to combine them, though. That would be bad. You don't want to combine their units at all in, uh, in this level. Still got a lot of bombers, though. That is nice. And I think I want to use my lightning strike. Um, I want to go in in one big offensive. and want to use my lightning strike to just do as much damage to his troops as possible. You don't want to spend too much effort trying to get his Neo tanks down and stuff. They are basically just in the way. Battlecopters. No, oh, he's not really doing anything with this. Okay, here we go. Ah, fuck, he's submerged. No! What the fuck? How did I mistime that? Really? Seriously? How did I fuck up on that? I was pretty sure I didn't do anything stupid right there. Okay, so I think I might just go for the kill right now. But first, I want to take down his sub. I want to do that with a battlecopter that doesn't have a lot of fuel in it. There we go. I think I just want to go for it right now. I think that if I just attack with everything I got, I should be able to bring his cannons down. So what I want to do is I want to place my battleship in range. What's so awesome about Eagle is that he can move and fire in the same turn. With his indirect units, that is. Which gives him a distinct advantage. Yeah, the thing about the battleship, that really sucked, man. I, I have no idea how I managed to fuck that up. Like, really, I have no idea how I managed to fuck that up. That was really weird. Alright, here we go. Just gonna make sure he doesn't get his power, that would be bad. But I don't think I'm gonna do... Most, the most of the damage I'm gonna do is gonna be directed at his black cannon, so... So it's not really going to be a lot of damage done to his other stuff. Tracking his sub. I'm probably gonna take a lot of damage from this, actually. No, actually, not that much. Alright, come here, battleship. Alright, are we ready to attack? Attack, 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 attack! Sadly, that won't do enough. I won't be able to uh, totally kill them this turn. I definitely want to kill his cruiser, though. Whee! Whee! Now, I don't really see the point in hitting his Neo tanks. that's just extra damage that, you know, it's not like they can attack bombers or anything, so... But I do want to kill his anti-air. Kill his anti-air, kill his missile, kill kill everything. I could basically just attack his Neo tanks too, I guess. But I did, no, no, I don't want to waste ammo. Nor do I want to give him more power than necessary. I want to see how his power meter is building up right now. Probably super power already. Almost. But he's gonna get that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He's gonna get it uh, during his turn anyway, so there's really nothing I can do. So, this superpower needs to do a lot of damage, or else I'm gonna die horribly. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Now, the thing is, I can probably finish off those cannons with the battlecopters. The bombers need to go and move on to, to different things. So, if I do this... Now, this thing has one hit point remaining, which means that I can take care of it with a battlecopter. So, it's important not to waste your fire. Now, the question is... I 
definitely want to do some damage to this thing. And this thing. Always attack with the units in the back. I can actually... Nah. nah that won't actually work. Well, I can kill this thing with the battleship. Or not. Oh, I'm gonna finish off his sub at least. Or not. Oh, Eagle, why are your naval units so bad? Alright, um, well, I can move in with my battleship. Actually, no, that's just... I'm gonna get it killed. Alright, well, I'm gonna go for his missiles. Do as much damage to them as possible, although they're gonna get four hit points back in his following turn because of his superpower. So I need to be a little bit careful here. Okay, so these things have almost no hit points left. We'll see how I do this. Probably I'm gonna get horribly owned, we'll see. Down that goes. Down that goes. Down that goes. Awesome. I'm guessing I should probably do some damage to these anti-airs, as they are probably going to do a lot of damage to me. So that's one less anti-air to deal with, at least. My god, there's a lot of damage you can do here. Woo. Black cannon down. Black cannon down. Anti-air down. That at least helps a little bit. And then I actually want to... I want to finish off this low hit point anti-air, actually. So that they don't get healed and do damage to me in the following turn. There we go. And there we go. Never underestimate Eagle's ability to deal damage with the air units, man. It's actually kind of insane when you get a double turn. So at least those are taken care of. And now I can actually use my fighters to shield my other units. So what I want to do now is I want to prevent his anti-air from dealing any damage to my troops. So I want to stick like... Um, first things first, I want to use my fighters right here to shield my bombers so that the anti-air can't do damage to them. And maybe even the black cannons will target them if the bombers are low enough. So that's something to consider. Now we're going to get a hog superpower. Um, this could be bad. This could be very bad. I'm going to take so much damage from the Black Cannons now. But luckily, the Black Cannons are actually firing on the battleship and on the fighters. Now let's just hope we can survive this turn. This is bad. However, he only has four Black Cannons left. And there goes my battleship, as I thought it would be. Uh, here comes the missiles. My god, he has a lot of missiles. Luckily, he's targeting my battlecopters for some weird reason. Which is completely fine. It's the bombers I'm worried about. And he's actually targeting my fighters with, my, uh, with his missiles, which is great. The only thing that isn't great about that is that uh, it now leaves my bombers vulnerable. But he might actually decide to attack my fighters with his anti-air. Which would be very stupid on this part. Let's see what he does. Nope, he's actually attacking my bombers. He's actually being smart. So we'll see. Do, will I have enough left to actually continue this assault? We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Ouch. Okay, that cruiser is actually being very annoying. Oh, balls. There's a cruiser down there, back there as well. Oh, I might have overextended a lot, actually. Uh, this is bad. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can I still do this? 
all my units are so damaged. It's very, very difficult to me to see if... Uh, I think I have overextended quite heavily, actually. And I fucked up majorly with my battleships, which are actually a, ver a key component here. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any way I can actually make this happen right now. This is actually... We could try. We could try. There might be a way yet. So how many hit points does this thing have left? 13? Maybe? 34? Oh, that's so close! Yeah, this is, uh, this is not going well. Oh, if I can just survive for one more turn. I need all the bait I can get. Come on, wounded battlecopters, cruisers. There's lots of love for you to attack here. Oh, I don't think I'm going to survive this turn. We'll see. Uh, but first the black cannons are going to take their toll. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> it was close though, two hit points left and 30, 23 hit points left. Almost, guys, almost. But we failed. I was a little bit too aggressive there. I cannot believe we were defeated. That was the famed Green Earth Force. What a disappointment. <laughs> as impressive as always, Hawk. Nothing but air units. Those Cretans never stood a chance. Destroy the bombers and their ability to inflict damage is neutralized. Adder, you talk too much. Finish the fortresses before they return. Leave it to me and there will be no problems. <laughs> Alright guys, when we come back I shall try to rectify my errors. This is actually a very tricky mission, which is why I like it so much. Alright guys, when I see you next time, we will be attempting this level again. I'll see you next time for the third time in a row. Goodbye.